Are you struggling to get eliminations at long range and struggling to win games? Don't worry because I have the top 5 long range weapons in Warzone 2 that will help turn those losses into wins. I'll give you a couple stats for each weapon and their best class setups. And jumping straight into it, the 5th best long range weapon is the Lockman 556. This is going to be the easiest to use weapon on this list for two main reasons. It has the least recoil and it also has the fastest fire rate at 723 rounds per minute. This makes it forgiving to use as the time to kill is less affected by missed shots. On top of that, you won't be missing as many, so that makes its actual time to kill much more competitive versus these theoretical time to kills that everyone is always talking about. This is a very beginner or noob friendly weapon and you can't go wrong with this class setup. We'll start off with the Harbinger D20 muzzle and for the tuning, we aren't going to be touching the left side of it because we want to keep it balanced between the ADS and recoil smoothness. But we want the bullet velocity up as we're using this as a long range weapon so we're just going to max that stat out on the bottom then from there we're going to be using this 15.9 inch lockman wrap barrel and for the tuning what we're going to do is we're going to max out the recoil steadiness and the damage range because the aim walking move speed and ads aren't as important on long range weapons and then from there we use the 60 round mag just to get the damage for mag maxed out because it is a little bit lower on the damage per bullet so the 60 rounds really helps then when we go to the vlk 4.0 optic this is just a preference you can switch to any other optic that's between four to six times magnification but for the tuning on all of them what you want to do is go all the way to far as that's going to make your visual recoil go down and then we also go for ads speed over flinch resistance and then for the last attachment, we're going to use this LMS factory stock. And for the tuning, we're going to max out the ADS speed on the left because the aim walking steadiness is not a big deal. Moving to the fourth best long range weapon, we're going to have the Castoff 762, aka the AK-47. This is basically the reverse of the Lockman 556. It actually is going to have a slower fire rate that hits hard and has a bit more recoil. The fire rate is 600 rounds per minute, which is identical to the Cold War AK-47 from last Warzone and performs almost identically to that. This weapon has way more upside than the Lockman, but it requires much more skill, which is why I don't have it higher on the list. I usually make these things based off how well I think the average player can use them. And for the best players, you could argue that this is the best long range weapon. And let's hop straight into the class setup. So we're going to use the ZLR Talon 5 muzzle, and this is going to give us some sound suppression and bullet velocity with damage range, which are super key into making this weapon perform well. And for the tuning, we're going to max out the bullet velocity because of course that is super important on any weapon you're going to be using over 40 meters. And then we don't touch the left hand side because we don't want to hurt the ADS or the recoil smoothness because this weapon can be used up close and at range. Then we go over to the barrel. We got this cast 10 584 millimeter barrel. And for the tuning, what we do is we increase the recoil steadiness to be max and the damage range because these are both very important stats. The recoil steadiness is probably the most important recoil benefiting stat. And from there, we're going to use the 40 round mag, which is the biggest magazine, but because this thing has really good damage per shot, the damage per mag is still pretty solid. Then I use the VLK once again, and I go to far to lower the visual recoil. And then I haven't touched the tuning on the stock of the KSTV RPK factory. And you're not going to regret trying this weapon if you're very good at aiming. Please make sure to hit the like button if this video is helping you out, and subscribe for more Warzone 2 tips and tricks. And the third best long range weapon is the RPK, and it has the same fire rate and time to kill as the cast off at 600 milliseconds for people with three plates at long range but why did i rank it one spot higher and that's going to be because it has more range and less recoil it's just easier to use with the same benefits time to kill wise the only con to this is going to be that it has slower mobility but one giant bright spot about this rpk is that the reload time is actually incredibly fast for a light machine gun at 4.9 seconds with the base mag being 75 rounds that is some serious firepower on this class and we're going to be using the zlr talon just like we did for the cast off and we're going to be doing the same tuning where we just max out the bullet velocity and then from there we're going to use this TAC 597 barrel where we max out the recoil steadiness and damage range you're going to notice that it's a very common setup on these long range weapons where we max out those two stats on the barrel and then from there we go to the vx pineapple and for the tuning we go with hip walking move speed and ads because we're never going to be hip firing this rpk so we might as well be increasing the other stats in this category and we could actually open up this under barrel spot because we didn't need a magazine because we already have the 75 rounds then we go to the VLK optic and on this one I actually going to max out the ADS because it is an LMG and it's a little bit slower in that category so I'm trying to benefit that as much as possible and then of course we go all the way to far to lower the visual recoil and then we got this heavy support stock 
where we go ADS speed again and aiming idle stability. So we're trying to get that ADS as good as possible on a light machine gun. And you're not going to regret using this weapon. It's absolutely incredible. Looking at the second best long range weapon, the Roll MG. There's only one con to this weapon and it's pretty bad with the putrid mobility, which is much lower than the RPK we just talked about. But why is it the second best you might be asking? And the answer is simple. It's completely broken and overpowered. It's very accurate and has the highest time to kill and damage per second on this list. The second highest DPS on this list is going to be the cast off and RPK at 380, while the raw is at 463 damage per second. Do you understand how big of a gap that is? It also is going to have the best bullet velocity, making it easier to hit your shots out at 80 meters. It's no contest when facing a 1v1 at long range with this weapon. It's going to be better than everything else. The movement is limited in this game, so having the most firepower will usually win your engagement. So let's go straight into that class setup where we got this FTAC Reaper muzzle. And what we're gonna do on this is max out the bullet velocity, and then we're gonna also max out the ADS because it's very slow in that category and we don't want it to be any worse. Now we're gonna have the 21 inch EFX Rhino Barrel, and you already know we're gonna have the recoil steadiness and damage range maxed. And then like the last one, we don't have the magazine, so we can put on this under barrel, the XRK Dune Grip, which I didn't put tuning on yet, but you could actually drag down this to ADS to help out the weapon, and I'm gonna do that right now. Then we're gonna go to the VLK Optic, where we go to ADS speed, and we go to FAR for less visual recoil. And finally, we got this Demo H40 stock, which I haven't touched yet, but I should also probably be dragging down to our ADS speed. And that's gonna make the weapon feel a little less clunky and a little bit smoother while absolutely decimating your opponents. An honorable mention will be given to the M13, which performs like a slightly less accurate version of the Lockman 556, but it's still a really solid option. So if you have it unlocked and you wanna try to class set up on it, use this one, the Harbinger D20 barrel, we're gonna max out the bullet velocity. Then we got the 14 inch Bruin Eagle on, which is gonna be recoil steadiness and damage range like usual. And then we go with the VX Pineapple, the 60 round, and the VLK Optic, which is gonna be ADS speed and far. Finally, the best long range weapon is gonna be the TAC-56, AKA the SCAR. This assault rifle is a perfect hybrid of the Lockman 556 and the Castoff 762. It has the middle ground time to kill and the middle ground fire rate. And it's easily the second most accurate gun behind the Lockman on this list but it has a little bit better TTK, giving it higher potential. And on top of this, it is the most mobile weapon out of these five. It's gonna have the best ADS, the best sprint to fire, and the best reload times. The SCAR will be the best long range weapon for the most people, and that's why it's in number one. And the class setup will have a couple familiar attachments with the VLK optic and the Harbinger D20, but I don't touch the ADS on this one because it's already the best out of these weapons, so I don't need to hurt the recoil at all to improve that category, but we're still gonna increase the bullet velocity. Then we got the Tundra Pro Barrel, which of course, recoil steadiness and damage range maxed out. And then with the 40 round mag, I use this one over the 60 because this really hurts your mobility and it makes it feel a little bit clunkier, but if you're in quads, you still probably wanna run this, but trios and below, rock the 40 round mag and keep that mobility. And then from there, I have this brute stock, which the tuning I do max out the ADS speed, but that's because aim walking steadiness is basically a useless stat in this game. It doesn't really do much of anything. And then I max out the aiming idle stability, which actually is very important. So if you try out these five weapons in Warzone 2, I'm sure you're gonna be getting some more wins and some more eliminations. And click on this video if you wanna see some more Warzone 2 tips. Peace.